Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Exposing the Narcissist. Today I will be talking about why your image matters to the narcissist. Because covert narcissists in particular are obsessed about their image, but they also like to control how everyone else is viewed. This is something they work towards from the very beginning of any relationship. Whether the narcissist is your parent, friend, partner, boss, etc. Narcissists want to control your highs and lows. They want to be the one to lift you up and the one to bring you down. I have seen comments from time to time along the lines of when a narcissist cannot control you, they try to control how others view you. This is true, but they do not wait until you are out of their reach. Narcissists always try to manipulate the dynamics of any relationship and how the people around them are viewed. And that is why they will smear you and try to control how others view you, regardless of the status of your relationship with them. So even when they have you under their thumb, even more so, they are already altering people's perception of you. Narcissists love to gossip, lie, and manipulate. They are also loyal to no one and will badmouth you every chance they get. They want people to misunderstand you. They want people to doubt your sincerity and question your integrity. They want people to distrust you. Narcissists are all about painting others as the bad guys and them as the good guys that should be trusted and loved by all. The covert narcissist would flourish in a group where everyone is bitching about everyone else to them. A group where they are seen as a leader or an example without anyone realizing that they are the ones causing the division or inciting drama. Basically, the narcissist's aim is that their reputation remains intact while everyone else's is in tatters. Because the narcissist has to bring others down in order to feel better about themselves. So whether the narcissist is your parent, child, partner, co-worker, boss, etc. They will look to poke holes in your image. They will make shady comments behind your back. They will tell lies on you. They will spread rumors about you. They will want to control how others view you. This happens throughout any narcissistic relationship, but it becomes more apparent during the discard phase, whether it is you discarding them or they discarding you. The covert narcissist just takes it into overdrive, where it is no longer a pastime hobby but a full-time campaign. And all their previous investments or those seeds of doubts that they have been sowing over the past months or years will now be able to take full bloom. And that is why their smear campaigns seem so successful and why the flying monkeys seem to have just been waiting for the word go and why they don't even come to you to find out if anything is true. Because for a long time in their minds, they already knew based on what the narcissist has been saying about you, that you are not who you pretend to be. So all the while you were playing house with the narcissist and even living their lie of a happy family or relationship, they were dragging you through the mud. They were ensuring that the people around you view them as the good one and you as the bad one. It is that simple. The covert narcissist is obsessed with being seen in a positive light. So while they are investing in their image, they are also investing in destroying your image. 
This is one of the reasons why narcissistic relationships are so dangerous because they weave themselves into our lives only to find out things about us that they can later use against us. We also have to remember that narcissists are very envious people, so they will never be satisfied with the idea that others think that you are better than them. So that is why they are very proactive in breaking down your reputation and you any chance they get. Narcissists love to be close to those people who have something they want. They are very competitive and they are prepared to do whatever it takes to get close to you so that they can take from you or destroy you. Narcissists want to be the center of attention. They want all the love, all the praise, all the adoration for themselves. So anyone who is close to a narcissist has to be seen as less than the narcissist. That is why no matter how much they smile with you or claim to love or care for you, they still have to ensure that others do not think that you are the better half or that you are better in any way. It's a sad fact and it has nothing to do with whether the narcissist can control you or not. The slander, the gossiping, the lies will happen. It just magnifies and becomes more public during the smear campaign. Because in the mind of the narcissist, others have to decrease in order for them to increase. Or authenticity and light needs to be tarnished in order for their fake self to be glorified. They want to crush what is genuine and exalt a lie. As I always say, never trust a narcissist. They will smile in your face and stab you in the back. Okay, that is it for today. Please don't forget to like and share this video if you found it useful. Many thanks for listening.